Hello, welcome to our science class. Are you ready for today's lesson? Our lesson for today is Science 6, Quarter 4, Week 2. Precautionary measures before, during, and after earthquake and volcanic eruptions. Last time, we studied about the earthquake. You still remember what an earthquake is? It is the shaking of the surface of the earth, resulting from a sudden release of energy in the earth's lithosphere that creates seismic waves. Earthquakes can happen without warning. It is impossible to predict when and where an earthquake will strike. Generally, an earthquake is divided into three stages, before, during, and after. Preparation, planning, and practice are key to surviving an earthquake. Learn what actions you can take to prepare for an earthquake and what you can do to help yourself and your loved ones safe during and after an earthquake. The best way to protect yourself and your family in case of an earthquake is to follow these steps. Before an earthquake, move heavy objects from high shelves to lower shelves to reduce the danger and injuries from falling objects. Fasten cabinets, shelves, mirrors, and heavy objects to the walls. Place heavy and breakable objects away from bed where they can fall. Secure light bulbs, lamps, and frames found above the bed so that they will not fall in case of an earthquake. Cabinet doors should have locks to prevent contents from spilling out. Turn off the LPG tank in your home to reduce the chance of having fire. Store water and dry food supplies good for a few days. During an earthquake, wherever you are when an earthquake starts, take cover immediately. Move a few steps to a nearby safe place if need be. Stay there until the shaking stops. Stay as calm as possible. Drop, cover, and hold on. Move as little as possible. If you are indoors, stay away from windows or any objects that could fall on you. Stand against the wall near the center of the building. If you smell gas, open a window and leave your house or building immediately. If you are outdoors, stay in an open area away from anything that could fall on you. If you are in a public place, take cover. Do not rush for the doors and do not get in an elevator. If you are inside the car or any vehicle, stop the car. Stay inside the car until the earthquake stops. After an earthquake, once that shaking stops, you may believe the earthquake is over. But many times, it's just the beginning. There may be aftershocks, or the main earthquake may not have even happened yet. To stay safe, here are a few things you should do before going back to your normal routine. Check yourself, your family members, and other people near you for injuries. Provide first aid to those who need help. Check your house or building for structural damage. 
check for water leaks, especially near electrical outlets or other sources of electricity. Open the radio. Keep phone lines clear for emergency calls. Use bottled water for drinking if possible. If no bottled water is available, boil water for 10 minutes before drinking it until water is declared safe. Stay away from beaches and coastlines. Tsunamis sometimes hit after the ground has stopped shaking. Expect aftershocks. Aftershocks can weaken structures. Be aware. Again, last time, we discussed what a volcanic eruption is. Can you still remember? A volcanic eruption occurs when magma is released from a volcano. Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or FUBOX, is a government agency that forecasts volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. This institute collects and monitors any unusual activity in the crust and mantle. It gives warnings to people living in the surrounding areas of a volcano that show signs of an eruption. It determines volcanic danger zones. These zones are places that are directly affected by the materials released from an erupting volcano. What should you do during and after a volcan volcanic eruption? Before volcanic eruptions, you can do many things to protect yourself and your family from the dangers of a volcanic eruption can cause. The best way to protect yourself and your family is to follow the advice of local officials. Local authorities will give you information on how to prepare for a volcanic eruption, and if necessary, on how to evacuate or take shelter where you are. Learn about your community warning system and develop an emergency communication plan. If there is none, work with your community and develop one. Prepare disaster supplies or a survival kit. Follow the evacuation plans. Follow the authorities' instructions and leave the area before the disaster begins. Evacuate before volcano erupts. It is not safe to stay at home and wait for the start of an eruption. Doing so can be very dangerous. Stay safe. Have a family reunification plan. Have a plan in case family members are separated during a volcanic eruption. Put all household materials inside your house and bring animals and livestock into closed shelters. During volcanic eruptions. Avoid areas near the slopes of the volcano. If caught indoors, close all windows, doors, and other openings. Remain indoors. If caught outdoors, protect your head from rocks and immediately run indoors. Avoid low-lying areas where lava flow could reach and poisonous gases can collect. Wear long-sleeved shirts and a pair of pants to protect you from volcanic dust. Use a dust mask to protect your eyes or hold a damp cloth over your face. Never watch an erupting volcano. Stay away from it. Avoid mud flows. Mud flows occur when rain falls and mixes with ashes and debris. 
after volcanic eruptions. Listen to a battery-powered radio or television for the latest emergency information. Stay away from volcanic ashfall. If you have respiratory ailments, stay indoors to avoid inhaling dust and ash. Follow local health officials. Seek advice if it is safe to go outside. Clear your house from ashfall or dust. Ashfall can cause roofs to collapse. Now it's time to apply what you have learned. Answer the following exercises. Exercise 1. Directions. Determine whether the following precautionary measures are observed during earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or both. Exercise 2. Determine whether the following precautionary measures are observed before, during, or after earthquakes. Exercise 3. Put a check mark if the statement tells about safety precautions and X mark if not. Exercise 4. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it is not. Write your answer on the space provided before each number. Here are the correct answers. Did you get the correct answers? That's great! Well, that's it for today's lesson. See you again next time! If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll get updated when I post my next videos. Thanks for watching!